Okay, so we are going to take our blinking message project program and we're going to turn it into the button test program. So what you'll need to do is if you've already done your blinking message project ad, you're going to open it up just like I'm doing right here. Click on it, open it up. And then you need to download it. Okay, so right here in the bottom, there's a little download file. And you're going to download that file because we don't want to mess up the project we've already designed. Then click back on home. All right. And then just take your file and let's import our file here. So now we need to go to import file. Click import file, upload, choose file. And mm, you'll click on your file, which should be at the very top. Mine is at the very bottom. So here it is, I think. There it is, right there. I'm going to click on it, highlight it, click open. And this is going to open it up, bring it up, and then we click go ahead. Okay, now we have our blinking message. Okay, now we want to do, we're going to follow these instructions that are on your, um, your slide presentation, on your, your answer document. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to get out two, um, two on buttons. You see, I already started with an on button, but just for purposes sake, let's get out two on button A's. Go in the input drawer, in the input drawer, click on the button, on button A, and we, we take out two. Now we need to change one of these to B. So we have on button A and on button B. And you notice mine over here is now grayed out. So I cannot use this anymore, okay? Because you cannot have more than one of the same start codes. So just so you'll, you might, you'll notice that. Now it tells us that on button A is going to have the scrolling message appear. And when you press button B, the animation appears. So, I have my two blocks out. So I need to take my on button A and make my scrolling string, take my, my scrolling message and make it appear. So I have a scrolling message. All right. Okay, now let's see here. Let me double check, make sure that worked. Oh, that's not gonna work. Okay. Um, dump that in the trash. There we go. And then I need to take my animation and put it onto B, correct? So we're going to move that out of the way. This is my animation, and I'm going to put it into B. And you know what? I forgot my repeat, didn't I? I forgot my repeat here. So let's get my repeat and put my repeat on there. There we go. Now I have my animation there. I'm going to shrink this a little bit so you can see my full program here and my program here. Now we're gonna run it. So if we click on A, it's stringing across, eating Reese's peanut butter cups makes me happy. So that one works. And then we're gonna, we're gonna pause, we're gonna refresh. And then we're gonna test B. And B shows our animation. So we have successfully taken our old project and split it into two parts. So we have our string message in button A and we have our animation in button B. So you can see how I have two codes there. And I'm gonna just dump the rest of this because I don't need the rest of that. And I have completed this. Now I need to change the name and make sure I name this correctly. It's gonna be A2 dash one button test a2 dash one button test and your last name and mine's lira so i'm going to put lira make sure you name it a2 dash one button test and your last name and now you need to those of you in the uh face-to-face -face class you'll need to download yours and make it work on your micro bit and make sure it's working on the micro bit. 